hauls. So I wanted to Hey guys, and thanks for watching Mary J's Hauls. So I wanted to start off talking about my, the outcome of my FMT number five, and I wanted to start it a little bit differently this time. So I am going to include a picture right here. The other day I was on Reddit looking through the FMT forums, as I am a member of pretty much, if there's a community about FMTs, I belong to it. I am part of that group um, because of all of the research I've done and all the people I've reached out to. So I did come across this post, which I will put up on the screen right now. I would like you guys to read it for yourselves. And I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I did. This person seems to be very creative um, with their way of thinking. Now, I think they're a little absurd to think that they'll get published in a medical journal, but you know what? It was probably one of the best FMT posts I have come across. So I'll give you guys a second to fully take it in, bask in it. Now, for my FMT number five, I am starting to notice some different changes. Now, and I don't know if I can't fully attribute it to the FMTs, I am noticing that my hives are staying the same. They are still pretty bad and they tend to be, even if they're less visible, they tend to be much itchier the day that after I do an FMT. Um, now, I did let my boyfriend kind of cheat a little bit. I usually keep him on a pretty clean diet the day before we're gonna do an FMT, but this time I just kind of let him eat whatever he wanted. So I think he had two burgers and a Philly cheesesteak sandwich all in the same day. That is what I put in my body. I'm just scared I'm going to absorb the calories from it. Okay, but back to my outcome of FMT number five. So I am starting to see some changes and it doesn't have to do with the hives and it doesn't have to do with the um, autoimmune diseases because I will not know about that until I get my blood work back. Now I am starting to realize that there are some gastro improvements. I am going to the bathroom more regularly and my stools are softer for me, um, which has been definitely a benefit. I'm not getting that extreme bloat anymore. I do still get very bloated and I'm not sure why and it's not due to the FMT. I've gotten that for the last two years, um, this extreme bloat. So aside from that, I did break out. My face had pimples and hives, both of the two. The hives are a pretty normal thing for me currently, um, but the acne is not very normal for me. So I did start to notice that my face was breaking out and I do think that I would have to attribute that to the FMTs as I haven't really changed anything in my skincare routine. I don't really wear makeup. Um, so it's gotta be due to the FMTs. Now, another thing that I am noticing about the FMTs is no, I did not start the FMTs for this, but I am realizing that it is helping and that is my anxiety and these depressive moods that I sometimes slip into. It's really helping to kind of pull me back out of those. The days that I do the FMTs, I do feel like my mood is better. Everything is kind of lighter and airier, whereas I usually feel like tired and sluggish. And I've also noticed an improvement in that too. So I can't, I feel like I have semi-chronic fatigue. I feel like when I wake up, my brain just is not working and the only way to get it turning and moving is by working out, which I shouldn't have to be that reliant on working out. Um, so I am noticing I am waking up with more energy, whether I still sleep poorly from the prednisone or not. So that is a plus. Um, I will include a picture of my hives, which haven't changed much. Now I did start to just take the 10 milligrams of prednisone when doing the FMTs or the same night that I do the FMTs or day, whatever you want to call it. So I did keep it a pretty steady 10 across the board. Originally I was bumping it down to seven milligrams to try and see the effectiveness of the FMTs. But once I hit those seven milligrams, my hives devour my legs. Like they confiscate it, they colonize. It's it's absurd what happens in the difference between seven to 10 milligrams. So for my piece, I have just been taking the 10 milligrams um, and I'm hoping that if something arises in the stool that my body actually needs to fight off, that I would have a little bit of immune system support that would fight it off. But we are trying, and like I said, I am still continuing this Phosphorus 6C, which is a new medication that this homeopathic doctor gave me for all of this problems that I listed above, including the anxiety, the anger, and the depressive, the lightly depressive mindset that I keep semi-slipping into. So guys, I am starting to see changes. No, it's not the exact change I would like, but I'm hoping that that means that it's starting to stick in my body and take hold, which I know is why people go through the 10 processes is really for the bacteria, the good bacteria in their stool to kind of really take hold crossing my fingers that this is going to work for me as well as for you guys. And again, guys, I will be putting out more accurate and cleaner videos of the process of what to do prior to getting an FMT, how to choose your donor, um, the, pro the ingredients you will need and where to purchase those and just different tips and tricks. So guys, like this video, 
click the subscribe button and the notifications button. I am putting these out at least once a week, if not twice a week, depending on how many FMTs I do that week. Um, so follow my progress to see if it works for me, because if it works for some of my issues that it hasn't ever been really used to treat before, it could possibly work for some of yours. Now there is risks involved. And again, talk to your doctors about it. They're going to say no, not going to lie, but it's still good to, you know, let them know beforehand that you're doing it and see if anything goes wrong, if they are the person that can help take care of you and, you know, cl help clean your system out. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, you know what to do. Follow me, follow me, follow me. Hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day and peace out.